smile much. <laughs> okay, hey, how you doing, my friend? I'm uh, okay. How's life? How's life? Um, so good. I'm here in uh, in Butuan City in the Philippines. Oh, nice. And uh, I'm at my uh, future wife's dress shop here. You got your dress shop, yeah, huh? Dress shop. And some bags. bags and knapsacks. And, so, and blouses and polo shirts and umbrellas and ponchos. And wow. All dry goods, all clothes. All clothes. And, uh, it's at a Philippine price. You have to remember, those that are in other parts of the world, they were basing on a dollar. A dollar yeah. in the United States is worth 52.34 pesos. pesos today. Today. Imagine what kind of business you could go into in the world and gain 52 times your money instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere. So that's why you are here. I'm here because, you know, I have a pension and I can live here like a king. Yeah, compared to compared to where? Compared, compared to the United States, even Mexico. Mexico, I lived here for 18 years before that. Yeah. I was in Monterrey, I was in Matamoros, I was in a lot of parts of Mexico. But Mexico, okay, now it's about 19 pesos Mexican to one dollar. 19? Yes, I mean... Almost 20, yeah. Almost 20, it floats, it jumps back and forth with the, whatever the market, whatever the market value is in the world. On a, you know, the currency bolsa. So what you have to do is realize that right here, it never goes, I haven't seen it, and nobody's even said that it's gone below 50 pesos yeah, in a yeah. long time. Long time. You know, when I, it was 53, it was 52. So, you know, imagine if you're buying a bag like this, yeah. right, that sells for 250 pesos or 300 yeah, pesos yeah. Philippine, six dollars. Yeah. Six dollars. It's like it's like shopping at the dollar shops in the United yeah, States yeah, for quality yeah. items. Yeah. It just goes so far. The money. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what? Are, um, comparing the cost of uh, living in, let's say, Mexico to here, how would you compare it? Okay. Well, before I even came, I did a cost comparison on everything, and it's actually 38 percent cheaper to live here. Here in Butuan. In Butuan, in, in, in Butuan, Butuan than, now, yeah. than, than Monterrey, Mexico. Monterrey. Now Mexico, and Monterrey is the third largest, the third biggest city in, in Mexico. Yeah. There's only three cities that pay all the taxes in Mexico. Ah. There's a, a DF, you know, Mexico City, Guadalajara, yeah. and Monterrey. Monterrey. And all the taxes they get from the people pay for everybody else. Yeah. Everybody else that are ranches or pueblos don't pay yeah. taxes. They sell little things. Yeah. You know, they have little, little what they call the tiendas or little puestos. They put posts out there and they cook food, sell yeah. food, sell bread, sell tortillas, mm. sell whatever to survive. But there's no taxes being paid. Uh, the yeah. only taxes are collected on gasoline, yeah. gas, electric, water, yeah. cable. And when you buy from a store, the yeah. taxes are on you know non non perishable goods, yeah. goods that you cannot eat. Sure. Beer and liquor, of course. Yeah. There you are. There's tax. So, so if, tax. Um, if if Butuan, uh, well, we are in Butuan, Mindanao, Mindanao. Yeah. How does it feel to be in Mindanao, by the way? We are here in Mindanao, guys. It's a, you know, it's a uh, the, the, the U.S. government has uh, travel warnings. Never never come to Mindanao. How do you feel about that? I think that, uh, you know, there is like, they said that there are a couple parts here that are controlled or trying to be controlled by the Muslims. Oh, yeah. But the government here is uh, really protective and trying to push them out. Yeah. You know, they, I mean, ISIS tried to get control of a city here yeah. one time. They had control. But yeah, well, the city, that's far away, though. But the, yeah, but the, yeah, the police got to hold them and the military got around yeah. in time and they, everything. They blew up the whole them. city. Yeah. You know? I mean, as far as everybody says there's uh, the drug trafficking, and I haven't seen anything of that no. bad at all. I've seen a lot of hardworking people here. Yeah, yeah. Everybody working, trying to work. You know, I don't yeah. see too many unemployed here. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no really uh, street people too many or No, you know, there's, there's street couple. vendors like right yeah, here, yeah. you know, a guy vending he's selling oh, okay. and glasses. He's selling, yeah, yeah. But it's a job, it's an honest no, job. Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? You know? He makes exactly. his mark up and he sells it. Uh, but what I mean is street people, people sleeping on the street. No, or? well at night there are there's a group here that have been coming by. Yeah. Uh, Husband and wife and four kids and another oh. woman with three kids. They sleep at night here because oh, okay. the lights not on. Oh. But the lights on next door. Oh really? Yeah, but it's good. At least they don't they don't yeah. be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so there are a few street people around, huh? Yeah, and, and just recently. I don't know if they're here for oh. from where they're living. There's too much water or too much because yeah. there are areas that are water afflicted. No, I think what happens is that during the Christmas season. A lot of, uh, they, you have these professional beggar gangs. That's why it's a wife, husband, and kids. They're, pro they're all pro professionals. 
travel around usually from you will they will be gone in another couple of days and they go to the next town you know and so on and yeah, so on. they're, they're professional uh, beggars they, they are beggar gangs here yeah i mean they don't they they look healthy enough to work yeah yeah no but they yeah. don't want to work yeah if you want to scare them off if they ask you for anything just Come offer them a job yes yeah. they will be running there <laughs> that's it that's they'll be running to get yeah, out of here there's a couple people that come by that are a little uh disabled you know oh, yeah, uh, yeah. like you know mentally they are just just you know they have yeah. a discapacity but uh, you know, they come by and ask for five pesos yeah you give one pay you five five pesos you know maybe think about it yeah think about it it's like, like giving a penny yeah it's a penny you it's a penny yeah they're very happy with, but with that, it they eat a roll they go they go but they're buying food they're not buying yeah, drugs yeah, they're yeah. buying to survive but even even that is very rare kind of yeah isn't it? <laughs> yeah it's only a couple few that are like the neighborhood ones that come by every yeah, day yeah. you know if you don't have it there's no problem you yeah. don't give it there's no problem they don't yeah. care it's yeah. not like they, they give you a bad comment like yeah they're not aggressive yeah they're not aggressive like in mexico you see that too there's people coming around door to door they will come up to your house yeah. and knock on your door and they ask really? you know, oh. because it's the what the problem is a lot of these governments in a third class world are gaining all the money and they're not yeah, yeah. even spending on the people yeah. i don't see the a great health program here for people and and Mexico neither. And Mexico, the health, the health system is terrible. Yeah. You go there and you go to a, like a social security clinic in Mexico, yeah. and you fill out your forms, and they say, "All right, you need this, this, and this." Yeah. Okay, well, let's go. And they go, oh, we don't have it here. Yeah. You have to go to another area. Yeah. So the people that don't have money, yeah, you know, they're not what's called the seguro popular, you know, social security. Yeah. In, uh, health insurance and they can't even afford to go by bus or taxi yeah, yeah, yeah. never mind pay for the medication because you don't yeah. get the medication free uh -huh. don't let it fool you you have to buy the medication yeah. then you go to get an x-ray then you go to then yeah. if you were working you have to fill the paperwork so your yeah. job could pay you because if it happened at work and you wait for your money then sure, sure. and you, some people turn around and go back and forth seven eight times yeah, that's crazy. That's, and, is and that the Spanish? They get worse. That's the Spanish yeah, world. Mexico, isn't it? And they just don't get cured and they get worse sometimes. Well, I'll tell you what though, this new president here, when he uh, two years ago, flipping was probably just like Mexico, but uh, he cut out a lot of the bullshit. He, he, he cut, he, um, he, canceled, he canceled taxes basically for everyone, with low income. Yeah, free schools, free universities, yeah, well, that's free what, medical care, all that stuff. He, he's, he's, done, he's doing a good job. Well, I know that, job. you know, my girlfriend's daughter here, she had to pay for schooling, you know, university. Oh, yeah. oh university, yeah, but if she goes to a private one. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. she did, but, well, you know, the edu you want an education if you're going. If you want a free education, you've got to go to a government school, yeah. And then yeah. the government school, then, yeah. you're, then you're, you know, you're getting an education, but who knows if they're pushing you through or... Oh, yeah. really, if you're, but you know that's education all over the world man it's it's a oh, fucking yeah. big scam i'm telling you for me the biggest scam in the world is when i see harvard harvard and oxford and this that's the biggest scam that's that's the fucking rich man's club oh yeah that's you so know then you, you pay your way in you pay your way out and that's it that's fucking bullshit you know harvard is the biggest scam in the world <laughs> biggest in the world i swear to god he said is. that i say it and the fucking people working there are all fucking scammers you know They're all those professors all those fucking people they they, oh, they, they, have tenure. they don't they even don't, teach they don't have if to, you have if, yeah 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 they don't even have to fucking teach you so so what are they doing they, they get they get they get your classmates to teach you oh yeah this one is because all those people going there pay their way in they all know fuck all they the one and, they, and then they, what they do is they get they get a few chinese and indians with high test scores just so that they can teach the others that's what it is in Harvard. They call you, assistant you, professors. Yes, yes. They are, they are, but that's your fucking classmate <laughs> from India and China, right? Bullshit, man. I don't believe it. I don't swallow that. But they I feel it's an honor. So no, that's bullshit. They're educated to that's the biggest things. scam ever in the history, man. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get back to the cost of living in the States compared to here. Is it much higher? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, the food's different, of course. It's a different style. Yeah. Like in Mexico, a lot of people use tortillas, yeah, yeah. and they eat with the tortillas. They use it as yeah, spoons yeah, yeah, yeah. to eat. Here, no, they, they, the, the, the rice is so thick, they actually yeah. use the rice and yeah, eat with yeah, the yeah, rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't like rice. I, you, I, I use a spoon, I use a fork yeah. wherever I go. That's all there is to it. So are you getting used to the rice, or what do you eat? Well, no, I'm not eating it for breakfast, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you know, I'll eat it at lunch and stuff like that. It's yeah, okay, you know. Okay. But yeah, I'm lucky that you know I cook at home and I okay. cook American food or I cook Italian food. So where do you buy? Where do you shop? It's hard to find everything you need yeah. here. But you, you it's a little bit expensive, huh? 
Yeah, you gotta look around. Just you know, they got the high prices on the stuff that they know yeah, that yeah, it's yeah. imported, like you know, things from like Del Monte and Heinz yeah, and yeah. stuff. They're the most expensive things here, but they're you know, you want some quality sauce. You have to yeah. get some quality tomatoes. You have to, if yeah. you want to make Italian, you know, food. Yeah, yeah. So you're you have a, to go for it. So you're you a can't bit find of a, sausage here, Italian sausage. Yeah. I know a couple people that have it. They haven't flown in. So you're a, you're a bit of a chef. <laughs> is the yeah, hobby? It, it, it's been a hobby a long time. You know? uh, when I was in Mexico, I cooked. Uh, I, co I had a, I cooked the Mexican food and Italian yeah. food. I sold uh, in, the, in the markets all right. as a as a hobby, and it was a business. Yeah, I sold yeah. out every week. Wow, you know? nice. I cooked lasagna and everything. I give plates for it. Okay. For one dollar. One dollar. One dollar huh? plates of lasagna. Oh, wow, that's and good. <laughs> but Twenty pesos. Good here. I'll be your first customer. <laughs> yeah. Well, here I'll yeah, be fifty good. pesos because uh, it's yeah, a that's, that's a dollar, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, and what else did you do in Mexico? I, t I taught English as a second language. You taught English, huh? And uh, is that a, is that a common business for foreigners? Well, some, but most foreigners, no, most foreigners are there. They have other businesses, you know. Uh, in Mexico, you have to realize General Electric's there, Whirlpool's there. Uh, Cemex is Mexican, but it's number one in the world. Yeah. Cement and yeah. blocks and concrete, uh, number two in the world. I mean, yeah. they have uh, companies that I taught English for that are uh, number uh, three in the world for structural steel. Oh yeah. In the world, I'm not talking about Mexico, I'm talking in the world, yeah, but yeah. they are because the, the land is cheaper, the tax yeah, break, yeah, yeah. the pay. I mean, a guy working for 1,300 or 1,400 pesos a week. Yeah. And and then what he has is called El Finavit there yeah. in Mexico. Every 15 days they take out your house payment. Because oh. you get a house with, with no, deposit yeah. if you want yeah. and what happens on this house is you get a school you have to work uh, about I think it's like four months to get points yeah. once you have enough points then you use that for your house and then every 15 days they take one of your checks wow. boom, gets paid for your yeah. house but the house that's listed for it costs 300 80,000 pesos yeah. okay you know pesos now you go to 20 pesos this is mathematical yeah. short you know uh, they end up paying when they're done after 20 years over a million yeah. 200 pesos the interest rates are there they have stores like Electra yeah. and Copal and they they let you borrow to buy yeah. and make payments but you know the interest rate 78 percent a year I mean, I remember, you know, and living in New York in the tri-borough areas that, you know, th there was the gangs collected 10% a week, yeah. you know, or so, on, on so it's better 10 than 10% a month, yeah, yeah. you know, and so, but these are actual stores and some of them had to separate and make a bank, like Bank Azteca is mm. part of Electra and what it does is they're in charge of the financing. So it doesn't look like Electra's charging that 78% yeah, 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 yeah. or 72% the yeah. bank is. Yeah. You know? And but people sign it. Why? Because they want they want that TV, they want that yeah, washing machine, they want those things to make their life easier. Yeah. And they don't want to wait. Yep. They yeah. don't understand that they want to save. They have people come around to sell furniture at your house and you put a hunt say only a hundred pesos a week. But yeah. they don't understand it's a year and a half. Yeah. And you're paying for something that's a thousand pesos, yeah. right? You're paying five thousand yeah. because you could pay, a, you could pay, you could afford to pay yeah, the yeah, fifty yeah. pesos a week, hundred pesos a week. Sure. Here, I haven't seen that yet, but I only have not seen that much. But yeah, and well, you know the the banks are fucking biggest thieves in the world. I'm sure it's the same in the U.S. Um, let me let me ask you again. So you've been here one month. Huh? I've been here one month, a little one over month, a month. One month. And what people don't know is in Butuan there is a lot of gold. Gold, yes, yes. Ancient gold yeah. from from the Spaniards and from the yeah. English and from the old Chinese. Come here, the Chinese yeah, yeah. come here and bury it. Yeah. And there's a lot of museums. A lot of people have gold. I found gold yeah, in just yeah. normal places. Yeah, yeah. Not you know. And there's a lot deep. of there's a lot of foreigners here. A lot of Americans, isn't it? Yeah. Did you did you meet any yet? Uh, yeah, I've, I've, so far I've been uh, I've met about 18 Americans. Not even Americans, Americans oh. or, or English or Canada yeah. or or German, yeah. Denmark. I've met more pe Americans here or foreigners here 
I'm in Mexico. <laughs> then I met in 18 years in Mexico, oh, in Monterrey. So, so they're coming in, huh? They've been here, they're living here. They're, they're not living, even just, yeah, they're they're living. Not even just tourists. Some are tourists, yeah. and then they go back home and they, they, they make everything better or sell yeah. the house and they come back here. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, why is that? Because the, the life is easier. The Philippine women too are, Philippine are, are women. very, very, you know, very, very friendly. They're very cordial. Yeah. They, uh, it's, it's, I don't want to sound like uh, a macho, macho man yeah. to say this, but they're actually brought up to to serve their husbands. They yeah. see their mother do this. I mean, yeah. they cook them for them, make sure there's yeah. food there, make sure there's everything ready, this, this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not like a abusive yeah. because... No, it's a know, caring, it's caring. Yeah, it's this caring and a loving thing that loving a thing. lot of... Uh, uh, in the United States, you don't see that in women anymore. No. They just want to look at your wallet and you're they want, they want you to do that shit, <laughs> but, yeah. they, but they don't want I mean, to reciprocate. Right? And, <laughs> and what they do for their children. Yeah. Anything, anything to raise their yeah, children yeah. right. Good mothers, right? What you see here is children, when they act, they salute you, they take your hand, their hand and yeah. they put it on the yeah, back yeah, of the, on the for forest, respect yeah. and for a blessing. Yeah. They call everybody sir yeah. or madame. Mm. You don't see that anymore, that kind yeah, of politeness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, I've been around, I've been in yeah. Colombia, I've been in Brazil, yeah. I've been in a lot, I've been, I've been in a lot yeah, of places, yeah. I've been in Africa. I've been in a lot of places, and yeah. but the respect that the yeah. children are brought up to be is something that is old school yeah. fashion that you don't see anymore. Yeah, it's no, good to see. It's good to see it. We can appreciate it, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. and anybody, any woman, any woman, they call Madame. You yeah, know, they yeah. call uh, any man, any man a sir. You know, sir, they yeah, call yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, I tell them, hey, call me Johnny. They yeah. said, sir. They go, yeah, yeah. Hello, Johnny, sir. Yeah, sir, said, Johnny. Yeah, hey, yeah, but, yeah. But, but that's what they do, and yeah. they always wait. They always have a smile. Yeah, they're yeah. not. They're not mad that you're yeah. in their country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're very in welcoming. Mexico, I was always, you know, I was always called a racist remark, gringo. I said, oh, that's because you're a foreigner. Yeah. No, no, no. That's gringo. I'm American. Yeah. You're a Mexican. Yeah. Gringo is a racist remark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but here, you don't hear any of that. You say, amigo, hey, yeah. sir. Yeah. It doesn't matter because they're brought up. Yeah, with respect. They're educated in a way of respect to, yeah. to, good, good. to uh, don't mind this pole. This pole is only to take these yeah. off. <laughs> Johnny has a stick in his hand there, guys. Seen, uh, he's like doing his clothes here. I haven't seen any crime. But you've got a big, sh yeah, very little crime here. Yeah. You have a big shop here, man. It's huge. Yeah, um, it's a, you're renting it. Hello. How are you doing? As the owner of Victoria. As the owner here, right? That's yeah. your, uh, that's, the, you that's the boss. Yeah, that's the boss. boss. And, That's the boss. <laughs> and these dresses here, I mean, you know, if I put these on the internet and sold them in the United States, $24 or less. Yeah? That's what I'm going to do. Oh, wow. I'm going to set up $24, or less. Yeah. Anything in the store yeah, yeah, you yeah. see. Yeah. You know, it takes time to photo everything and yeah. put it on the web and upload it and everything. Right. Once I get to go, where are you going to buy a dress? Where are you going to buy a, a bag? Where are you going to buy... <laughs> yeah, that's a nice bag. A right? repo bag. Yeah. Twenty-five dollars or less. Wow. Huh? Twenty-five dollars. Reborg, reborg, huh? Reborg is yeah, a good brand. I mean, and look at it. It's not Follow. like it's, it's not like it's beat up. It's new. Oh, it's nice. I like it. Yeah. I mean, what are you gonna buy? Twenty-five dollars or less. If you wear it once, you win. Yeah. If you wear yeah. it twice, you're yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah. You can give it to somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, or give it to the poor if you don't. Yeah. If you don't Maybe it's not the, the best quality, but it's new. It's new, man. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, yeah, big colors. Nice bag, nice bag. Well, it's, we, got, we got big bags. Fifty pesos. Fifty pesos. Yeah, sale. No, it's not because one dollar, right? Yeah, one less than a dollar. Less than. And one. why? It's because it's been here more than a year. Yeah. You want to get out? Doesn't have room. Yeah. Sell it. People will use it. People yeah. that can't have money. That's one hundred. Hundred. Hundred per bag. Okay. I mean, they're okay. That's leather, that's leather bag. Yeah, they're a leather bag. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. They're a little beat up because they've been here a year. Yeah. But for for, for, two, for less than two dollars, yeah, a woman yeah. can have another new bag. Yeah, yeah. So, great, great. I love, I love. I bought a bag here yesterday, right? Yeah, you bought yeah, a bag. I bought this one. This one I'm yeah, wearing. Right yeah, yeah. And this this yeah. one looks pretty much brand new. I think. It was 150 pesos. 150 pesos. Yeah, yeah. Three dollars. Less than three dollars. That's exactly what I needed, man. And it'll last you too. And yeah, and I was looking for that, you know. I was really looking for it. If it lasts you a year, if you figure it out, 365 days on three dollars. It's less than a penny a day. Yeah. <laughs> wow, the traffic here builds up too. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is going to the airport. 
The airport is very near here, right? Yeah, the airport is 20 minutes away. 20 minutes, no, I think even less. Yeah, maybe less, you know, Maybe yeah. 10 minutes at most. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's where I came in. I that's came where in you came airport. in, yeah. You flew in uh, via Manila. I, 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 no, I flew in from uh, Cebu. Cebu, oh, Cebu. Cebu, Cebu, Cebu to, uh, to Key VXU. Yeah. Ah. Oh. And, uh, well, they're having the, this, this week is the fiesta for the Nino. Oh, yeah, yeah, El Nino is the, 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 the Lord yeah, the, Jesus. Jesus, uh, Jesus yeah. The, yeah, so it's gonna, this, this street's going to be closed down tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, the whole street's closed down for oh. the whole oh, Tomorrow is going to be like a, a little holiday. Yeah. yeah, well, no, I mean, we're going to be open. But tomorrow is Sunday, yeah. 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 We're going to be open, they're going to have the street closed for all, no traffic. Yeah, yeah. Only feet, people walking. Oh, wow. here? Yeah, the whole thing, from, oh. from the church to... I'm, a, I'm expecting some of my guests arriving tomorrow from China, <clears throat> a mother and daughter. You have to go behind the streets. Into oh, really? the, 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 yeah, yeah. Or maybe around. Oh, this way? I don't know about this way, but this way, I know they can make it all the way around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be waiting. Okay, Johnny. <clears throat> Sorry, my friend. Well, this was really good talking to you. Hey, nice meeting you, Francois. And uh, I'm glad you're telling, you're telling these guys you're here in Mindanao. You arrived a month ago. You already got your own business up and running. You, you find the life, lifestyle here very relaxing. Very, very affordable. Yeah. So, guys, you, you hear it from the straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah, Johnny, I mean, Johnny. When your neighbors have a party, everybody comes with food. Everybody has a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody like, hey, If you don't have any food, no problem. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody takes everybody food home too. Yep, 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 yep. They give you know, food. They like give the home. old days. Remember, you used to yeah. in the '60s in the United yeah. States, but those days are gone now. Those days are gone. There's people. They, they walk yeah, around. Yeah. They throw their texts yeah, on their phone. Yeah. Their parents they don't eat with the children. The children yeah, on the phone. Yeah, the parents yeah, yeah, on the phone. Here, no. Yeah, yeah, they Everybody care. eats together and talks together. And yeah. Everything. You know, it's it's an old it's an old school. It's the old school, man. It's good you know, to be all back in the I don't know old. if it's going to change or will well, change. Well, I love Mindanao. Mindanao is my favorite, like you say. It's really old school. People are really still friendly, still respectful. Yeah. Still caring, still sharing. Yeah. I mean, when you caring. pull out here, people stop and let you pull out. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you got. And then if, if there's any problem, you just smile. That's all you have to do. Yeah, that's all. That's all. If you smile at somebody, they, they have to they smile, smile back. back. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I mean, it's worth a lot. And yeah, that's it. You know. You know, I got these mini buses all over the place. Yeah, you just have to smile. That's it. And uh, they're great, you know, for people transporting. Oh, yeah, that's very cheap. Cheap, cheap yeah. Cheap. You jump in there, it's like. Seven or eight or nine pesos. Or pesos something. Philippine. Imagine, yeah. imagine paying ten imagine pesos for a ride. Three cents. <laughs> three yeah. cents to go ten kilometers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or one or a mile. No, a mile or something. ten miles on, on three cents. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Right? The gasoline here yeah. is cheaper than it is in the United really? States. Really? Yeah, it's forty pesos now. Forty two or something. Forty yeah. pesos a liter, right? Crazy, huh? And uh and Mexico is high, the gasoline is high. But the ex-president has gasoline stations in the United States selling cheaper than his own people, than yeah. he sells his own people. Now, I don't know how that happens. Yeah. Nieto, President Nieto that robbed everybody. Right, right. But I don't know. I don't Hello. know. If he's out of office now. Yeah. But. Oh, just looking for umbrella. Umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. All right, guys, we're here in the street scene in Butuan. Tomorrow is going to be a big parade here. I'll, I'll probably come by and, and do a bit of filming. See the parade, the passing parade of the El Nino. El Nino. That's the, not the, the, the El Nino is uh, is the weather climate condition as well. <laughs> but this is the real El Nino. Yeah, it's the original. Yeah, it's really the Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Very, okay. Very religious. A lot of people. Yeah. Are religious. Very town. religious. The church is about only. Right yeah, yeah, there. behind the beyond the bridge. They have yeah. All and everything. yeah, they're gonna they use church they there. Entertainment. Use the church up there. Even has something tonight, entertainment for people and stuff. Yep, yep, that's correct. All the business owners, the people here, they, they apply by the laws, the yeah. business, the sanitation. Yeah, and, yeah, I mean they're not easy laws. They just no, can't. No. You know, you Sanjay's just walking in a store. Uh, yep. You know, like that. They're, everything's pretty ordered. Everybody pays their everything taxes. Everything is organized. Taxes they use for education. Okay, guys, we're gonna sign off here. I think I'm uh, I'm almost out of time on my little card. Okay, thank you. Thanks again, Johnny. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thanks, Thanks a lot, thank brother. You, and welcome to Philippines, Mindanao, Mindanao, Mindanao. Mindanao. <laughs>